everyone. This module is prepared as an extension to the course Reinforced Concrete Design, discussing about the typical assignments as given by the lecturer for the course Reinforced Concrete Design. Students are asked to form in a group of 4 to 5 person, given with all the necessary documents, such as the architecture drawing, where they will need to interpret the architecture drawing, analyze the structures, design the structures using the principles and knowledge as acquired from the lecture, taking into consideration of the industrial applications and produce technical drawings as well as the design report to be submitted for the assessment of the lecturer. In fact, this is a mechanism to correlate the theories as acquired in the lecture with the industrial practices for the students to gain exposures to the applications in the local industries. In most of the university, this will be a typical assignment for the reinforced concrete design. There are a lot of technical insights. A large portion of it would require industrial exposures. With that, this module is prepared to guide you through the entire process of your assignments. In some University, you have Reinforced Concrete Design 1 and Reinforced Concrete Design 2. The assignment may be similar, just that the scope is different. Normally, the scope for Reinforced Concrete Design 2 it will be larger, covering more structural elements from the foundations, stump, beam, column, slabs, as well as the structural key plans. As there will be some overlapping part for the reinforced concrete 1 and reinforced concrete 2, this module is prepared on basis of combinations of reinforced concrete 1 and reinforced concrete 2 together. This is to show the connections between what you have learned from the reinforced concrete 1 and reinforced concrete 2. Since we are talking about the assignment, that means we need to cover every single aspect related to the assignment. This will include the design report, presentations, as well as the structural drawings. These are the list of the content, which we are going to go through it one by one in detail in the following videos. There will be section 1, understanding the assignment. Section 2, producing an assignment report. Section 3, giving a presentation. Section 4, reading the architecture drawing. Section 5, producing the structural key plan. Section 6, analyzing and designing the structure. Section 7, detailing and structural element. And lastly, some introductory to modeling with design ads. As this module is going to cover quite a number of technical insights, there will be a lot of discussions on the common mistakes done by the students. If you wish to know more how you can score your assignment better, please bear with me going through every single one of it. Know the rules for improvement and apply accordingly. With that, I hope you enjoy the learning. Good luck!